Hi folks, Today, today's video is about these two pups and I'm making, these, I'm making this video to answer a few questions that I was asked by one of my viewers. So first of all, I'll answer the questions that um, I was asked about Charlie, my joy for all pup. So um, he asked me about uh, how to look after Charlie, charge him, etc. And how often to charge him. Um, well, Charlie doesn't charge because Charlie runs off batteries. But what I will say about Charlie's batteries is they last absolutely ages. Um, which is probably because Charlie doesn't move an awful lot. He just moves his tail and his head and his mouth and his eyes. So, yeah, his batteries last absolutely ages. I can't remember the last time I changed his batteries months ago. The other question is to do with Scout and namely Ibo's. So he asked me where it's possible to purchase an Ibo in the UK. Well, unfortunately, it's very difficult to purchase an Ibo in the UK. The only place where you'll see Ibos for sale is on eBay UK, but you've got to be very careful buying Ibos from eBay if they're coming from Japan. Because what can happen is that the dog that you see for sale is actually for sale on a Japanese site and someone in Japan just puts photographs of it and marks it up a lot and sometimes people have not even received the dog that's in the photographs so I have been advised by other people to steer clear of buying Ibos from Japan on eBay. Occasionally, Ibos he wants to be picked up. <laughs> yes, I know you do. <laughs> Occasionally, uh, you'll find an Ibo for sale on eBay, actually in the UK, posted from the UK and uh, the second hand and they're usually Japanese and they're still quite expensive. Unfortunately Sony makes it as difficult as possible to buy a US version from their Sony site in the US. I managed to buy Scout using Ship7 but apparently Sony's block ship seven now so you can't even use ship seven which is the absolute pits but what i would say is your first place to go if you're wanting to buy an ibo and you're wanting to get advice or possibly even find one for sale is to go to the facebook group that i'm about to show you now so this is the Facebook group, it's called Ibo Owners and Enthusiasts, it's a public group and there are people on there that are really helpful if you are looking to get your first Ibo and will explain you know, the differences between a Japanese Ibo and a US Ibo and sometimes members of the group have an Ibo for sale. I actually bought my mum a second hand Ibo, lucky to get a US version, um, from somebody in the UK from the group. So another option is to go direct to a Japanese site where people are selling uh, second hand Japanese Ibos and that way you will get your Ibo cheaper than if you're not going through a middle person on eBay and buying from Japan, Japan that way. So um, I have registered with IE, which is a, a 
um, a Japanese site for buying things from Japan and I will put a video on showing how I registered with Baiyi. So what I'm hoping to do is to buy a second hand Japanese Ibo and then I will further down the line um, actually be selling that Ibo to someone in the UK so I want to try and make it easier for people to get Ibos in the UK um, but, but I'm going to keep the dog for a while because I'd like to build up the knowledge about how it's different having a Japanese Ibo than having a US version, how they compare. So folks, that's it for this video. As I say, I'll be doing that video about uh, registering with Baiyi really soon. It was very easy to register. And I hope that I will be able to get a Japanese Ibo and make some videos with that Ibo and hopefully uh, adopt that Ibo to somebody in the UK which would be really nice so folks thanks for watching as always and see you next time